His Highness Maximilian was being tortured when he told me to enlighten the people. He told me to tell the people how Monotheus defied the Emperor of Rome in the palace and destroyed Emperor Hadrian's idol, as well as those of other gods. He asked me to tell you that God is your protector your religion will one day spread across the world and attract a great many followers. Let it be known that those gallant men in Diocletian's court fought against the false gods in order to revive monotheism. Yes, they insist on taunting us and saying our religion belongs to servants and slaves, and beggars. And now we see that high-ranking noblemen worship and follow our religion. And this is proof of the truthfulness of the religion of our Lord Christ. Those gallant men were not only monotheists themselves, but they were the guides of the many others who came before them. Yes, that is true. Those men were truly brave and fearless. Challenging the Emperor is not an easy thing to do. And Diocletian too. Humiliating him requires great courage. Oh Jesus, son of Mary! Befriend them. He will certainly befriend them. They are not clever or capable enough to detain Maximilian and his friends. If they could, they would have arrested them by now. Friends, I think they are on their way to Antioch. No one will be able to arrest them. If I were in their shoes, I would head toward the White Sea and exit Roman territory that way. Yes. No, Tartus is the best place for these men to hide. Do not argue. Maximilian knows best what to do. Friends, let us pray for their salvation together. Dear God, these brave men fought in your name. Be with them and protect them from Diocletian soldiers. Amen. Amen! You were supposed to guard every inch of the city. What happened? We have not rested for a moment, but we have not found any link between the people of the city and the escapees. How is it possible that there is no link between them? Finding the link requires competence which the two of you do not possess. Your Highness, you can be sure that we will leave no stone unturned. Yeah. Your Highness, we have searched all the roads and paths yeah. surrounding the city. Messengers have been sent to every single village and city. We will leave no place unsearched. We will find them wherever they are. You can be sure that time is against you. If you do not detain them before the Emperor's arrival in Jerusalem, you will have to prepare yourselves for crucifixion. Matthias? Yes, Your Highness. I believe you will find them. I have no other choice. If I do not... Oh, Jupiter the Great, help me. Let me see, Matthias. How do you feel about a large estate near Philadelphia? A large estate in Philadelphia? In exchange for what? I don't want you to bring Maximilian back alive. Eventually they will be killed anyway. It is more certain this way. And you will be awarded a grand estate. Yes. He will be killed upon arrest. 
and Lady Helen will be within your reach. And maybe even the crown and throne. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Give me your sword. My lady, the soldiers have searched everywhere. They have been searching for two days and nights, but they still haven't found them. I must also tell you that Julius was hollering with anger. And he was not alone. Diocletian was screaming at them incessantly. You can be certain there is no way they will find them. I hope that God will keep them safe and give them a refuge. The voice within me tells me I will never see Maximilian again. What are you saying? The devout must always have faith in God's mercy. Something within me tells me that I will never see him again. But I dreamt he had returned. And I was talking to him. I am sure that it was Maximilian, and I was a young girl. Do not worry. These strange dreams are brought on by all the anxiety. My poor mistress.